You're listening to today's inspirational message on pursuing God with Gene Apple. Here's Gene. Hey, I hope your Tuesday's off to a great start. Whether you're beginning or ending your day or watching or listening to this in the middle of the day, thanks for joining me for day number two of uh, 21 Days of Prayer as we pursue God together. If you were with us uh, on an Eastside campus or with us online last weekend, I tried to help us reimagine a passage of scripture in Luke chapter 5 where this guy named Levi, a tax collector, experiences the light and becomes a follower of Jesus. But here's the cool thing about Levi, which many of us know as Matthew. Once he becomes a follower of Jesus, apparently he has a great concern for friends, for family who've not experienced the light of Jesus. And Luke chapter 5 records how he throws this special kind of party for them. You know, maybe these were his old colleagues that he used to collect taxes with, people he used to do lunch with, Zoom meetings with, the people he had office pools to bet on the chariot races. These were, you know, maybe his old beer drinking buddies. And it overwhelms him to think that his buddies aren't headed to eternity in heaven one day. And I can just kind of see him praying, God, show me how to be a light to my buddies. Show me how I can be a light. Maybe he thought about inviting them to services at the synagogue in Jerusalem, or maybe he thought about standing on his desk at work and being a Christian. And, and then he thought, but I'm just a rookie Christ follower. What, what if they ask a question that I can't answer? Or maybe he thought about doing nothing and you know, just letting them go to hell. I mean, that's an option. But instead he throws a party with Jesus and the disciples with the hope that spiritual conversations get started, that seeds get planted, that flames get ignited. And I'm asking you during 21 days of prayer to just pray one prayer and ask God to lead you on it. I'm asking you to pray, God, show me how to be a light. God, show me how to be a light because Jesus said, you are the light of the world. Let your light shine before others. One way that might be helpful is to pray specifically for five people who you know who need the light of Jesus, who you know are not ready for their last day on this planet. And one way to think about who some of those five people might be is with this little five finger exercise that I talked about where, you know, the thumb represents those who are closest to you. Maybe it's close friends, your kids, your family. The index finger is for those who pointed the way in your life as a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a grandparent, but who need the the light of Jesus. (laughs) The middle finger, (laughs) well, yeah, (laughs) let's just go there. Who are those that that you don't even like that are a part of your world for some reason, and they need Jesus too. The fourth finger could represent those who are weak. Maybe they're sick, aging, lost a job, going through a painful season. And the pinky is for those, the short one, you know, for those who have fallen short in their lives, who've made some bad mistakes, maybe prison time, huge moral failure, broke marriage vows, hurt so many people in the process, and they need the light. Maybe right now, if you haven't done it already, after I'm done, just take a moment today and think about who, who are the five people? And then pray, God, show me how to be a light. And I'm confident that over time, like he did with Matthew, he's gonna lead you in a way that's consistent and natural and comfortable with who he made you to be because what God expects, God always enables. God, we join and unite our prayers together on day number two of 21 Days of Prayer. And I thank you for everyone who's with me right now. And and today, I just pray that as they go through their day, as they see people, as they see needs, as they see opportunities, as they see circumstances, as they see situations and relationships and families, they'll, they'll ask themselves, God, show me how to be a light. And I just pray that you'll shine your light into them where they need it right now. God, we know that the stakes are high. We know that the people we encounter every day matter to you. And um, so help us to get outside of ourselves and to be useful by you. Lead us on those people we could have on our prayer list. And I pray it now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hey, really honored to have you join me today. Tell some friends about this and have them join us tomorrow for day three. 21 days of prayer. I'll see you then.